My name is uh, Bill Bacon and, and uh, I am the Mayor of Allerdale. And in 2014, I thought a hundred years since the First World War and Allerdale should remember all the people that was killed and not only in Allerdale, but to remember all those people nationwide. And I organised a service in St Michael's Church and it grew bigger and bigger that we had to form a committee to organise the parade that was taking place. Involved in the parade was the Duke of Lancaster Regiment, the military band from the Duke of Lancaster. Uh, there was the, the scouts, the guides, the schools, the army, the air force, the navy, all the uh, regiments of the, that's in the town was represented at that service in St. Michael's Church. This uh, service is to remember all those people that was involved in the First World War. After the first meeting, it escalated into a com community event. All the towns, villages and hamlets in Allerdale became involved and they all represented someone at that service to commemorate and remember the people that died in their area. The prayer took place in Workington and uh, we went into the Wilkins Park for the first part of the ceremony. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, the commonwealth, and all the world, peace and concord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. A lot of people say that there's no names on the cenotaph. Well, that is correct but the names are in a scroll in the middle of the cenotaph. We then progressed from there to St. Michael's Church for the main service. And there was dignity and the people from all over Lauderdale, different places, came to the service. I'm delighted to welcome you to this service today on behalf of the people of Allerdale, of the people of Worthing and certainly of the people of St. Michael's. It's a special commemoration as we are gathered here from all over Allerdale. From the onset of this service, it was agreed that it would be a commemoration service, not a thanksgiving, not a remembrance, a commemoration, keeping a memory. And this whole day will certainly achieve that. Then at the bottom left there are the crests, the three crests of the major services, the Navy, the Air Force and the Army, giving them the due respect they deserve. At the bottom right, then we have the wreath and the poppies and the little crosses. Bring to mind those who paid that ultimate sacrifice, those who we do remember every November. Above them, on the right and on the left, we see men and women and children who also made a sacrifice and who we commemorate this day.
now that uh, the day is coming to an end, I would like to thank all those people who have assisted in organising this event.